Тут пушка. <laughs> Russian. All right, so you bought two TPs, Kevlar, and two smokes. No paranoia on pistol rounds. All right, first advice. Right now, look, you have seven seconds still on this clock, but you're busy like pinging classics instead of going with the team. So you lost good positioning because of that. Not a single smoke being used yet, right? Remember. Okay. Good smoke. Oh, good smoke. The second smoke was terrible. Yeah, the second smoke is terrible, but the first smoke is is okay. for for taking uh, for taking sight is okay. But the thing what I'm thinking here is that's why I put attention to your TPs. Like you bought TPs, right? So I'm assuming that you have a plan. Otherwise, paranoia is just always better. Like you can buy paranoia and uh, how, how much cash is it? It should be paranoia uh, smoke, right? No, Dark Cover is 150. Then you can go Paranoia, Dark Cover, Frenzy. No, never mind, 350. One smoke. Uh, that's pretty awkward, actually. I would probably just go Paranoia, uh, Dark Cover, One Shrouded Step, No Armor, if I would be Omen. Unless you want to be first. But in general, like... Not paranoia on pistol round feels like low-key griefing, I'll be honest with you. I only buy paranoia on pistol on defense? I don't know, man. Paranoia is just so fucking powerful. Like, it's, it's actually kind of crazy, you know? I feel like... I feel like that would be... Uh, like playing Fade and not buying two Prowlers. You know? Yeah, but you don't have to buy a gun or you don't have to buy armor. You know, there are some, there are some um, agents that are just that are just weird on pistol rounds, like Fade and Omen. I buy it, but barely use it. So if you realize that you barely use the TPs, then there's absolutely no reason to buy them on pistol round as well. Like two is overkill. Just buy one. This this is a very good example. Here you have absolutely no idea. Where the opponents are. You hear them, you smoke it, and you lazy go into your smoke. You see? See? See this? You lazy went into your smoke. That's a big thing when it comes to Omen plays. Like, I, I don't like this. Maybe there was just an accident, right? But when, when you... Let's do it. Wait. Eh, fuck this. How do you go... Oh, never mind. Let's put this thing... Why is it not working? Oh, by face. Never mind. Lul. I was like, what the fuck? Why my keybind is not working? By face. So you did this, right? And you did it like, and you peeked into the smoke like this. Like, that is really not efficient, right? Because you, you show yourself so slowly if someone is in your smoke, and there was a chance someone was in your smoke, because you, like your sky had no vision. And you heard footsteps, like it's actually kind of fucked. What you what you need to do when uh, when playing with smokes, it doesn't matter which agent, right? But when you when you play with, with with smokes, you need to do like the super fast step, right? Like this, but you need to train it without the footsteps, right? Like this. So you have a higher speed going into the smoke, right? But you don't make noise. Like this. Because if you just shift into it, like, you're dead. Like, you need to... Whoop! Full speed. You can do full speed running, but with I'm making a sound. Just practice it in, in, like, you know, in a custom. Stand here and be like... Forward shift. Forward shift. Forward shift. And you just don't want to make noise. 
I mean, I'm t telling that not only to you, but to everyone in chat, right? The same guys, like, when you peek from a corner, right? Let's say here. Don't peek from up close. Don't peek like this. There's an acceleration. Look, my movement, right, from here, when you pay attention to how, how fast I move, when I press right and I peek, my movement accelerates. So from here to here, I have slower movement than from here to here. And because of that, when you want to peak, you want to be a little bit further from your, from, your, uh, from your angle, so you peak with maximum speed. Like, this is way tougher for your opponent to stop. Because you peak with the maximum speed. And the same applies everywhere. For the violence is inst instant uh, uh, acceleration. No, just try it out. Try it out yourself. Mm. It's okay. I, I, I like the effort. You wanted to help your teammate. You had a good position. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this guy didn't have good positioning. You should buy paranoia this round. That's 100% mistake. Not buying paranoia right here is a 100% mistake because you're gonna buy it next round anyway. And if you would be in a position where you have like a 5v4, 5v3 advantage because you got lucky, you would have paranoia just to try to win it. By the way, when you have situations like this, right hand movement. You're blocking the pathway, you're, you're uh, upstream, man. Yeah. So that's another thing. I, I, if you buy Frenzy, don't take the angles that are just long range. Just don't. They are shit. You're never gonna hit it. Imagine you had a ghost here, right? You would have probably hit him like twice. Maybe a headshot, body shot. Um, with Frenzy, it's insanely lucky to hit anything back then. Um, so you just adjust the way you play to where you go or the other way around. You have a plan to go double doors, go Frenzy. You have to plan to go window by different gun, you know? And when it comes to buying the non -bu not buying the utility on round two, this is something that is criminal, even with pro players. It's a it actually pisses me off so much. It's, it's, it's insane, man. Pro players not buying utility after losing pistol round for me, it's insanely fucking cringe. And I don't use that word often. So another thing. That's my personal playstyle. But if I would be playing Eco, right? Let's say I'm in your shoes right now. And I'm playing uh I'm playing that Eco. Uh I bought I have only one smoke, right? I have only one smoke. Um and I have the frenzy. No armor frenzy. And I want to do something this round. So what is what would be my plan? My plan would be to get early space, right? How do I get early space? Wait, let me turn on infinite abilities. So I have one smoke, right? And because I have one smoke, but it's reusable, I want to use it as soon as possible. And I have a frenzy, so I have a few options. One of my options at the beginning of the round would be doing um, a smoke that allows me to lurk into like um, into short, right? So I do something like this. So I can go here, not what being spotted from long, and also like have a tight angle to peek from here. Or like peek from here, right? Maybe we can work even a better one. Let me think. What would be a better one? Maybe like just like this. I'll be honest with you, I think this this should be better. Alright, let me check. No, 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 no. Has to be deeper. Has to be deeper. So like... Oh my god, epic pen. No! Shit. My infinite abilities. So, maybe something like this, I would say. 
So this guy from here doesn't see if anyone crossed. And this one from here doesn't see anything as well. But you have space for yourself to peek from here. You see? Or from here. So essentially you, you smoke in the middle here. Like this. And you buy space for everyone. Right? And with this, you're able to get into this space, take advantage of your close-range gun, right? Without being spotted, and no one knows what's going on. No one gets any info. Of course, unless someone is a moron, and will just peek here, because he's like, What the fuck's the smoke, man? Yeah. And so look at that smoke we get shouted at by teammates. Yeah, because they're stupid. You should not care about that. So, uh, use this for, like, when you want to lurk into A-short or A-long. Those are like really good. I think this is a really good smoke. Uh, the other plan would be I want to come onto double dose, right? Then this is very simple. I would actually prefer to just do this smoke. Like this. So I have a chance of clearing this corner first, right? So I'm clearing this first. And then I'm going fast into the smoke with full speed. Right? Without being exposed to this angle. It has to be a little bit deeper, sorry. Uh, like, it has to be like this. To avoid being spotted by the guy in the corner. Right? So I can check this corner here. I can go into the smoke. Watch out for off angles. Some motherfuckers might be just standing, like, really off, off angles in this. But you have to take the chance. Then you can peek here. Take another one. Then you can check this. Right? And you can check so many corners and just ad take advantage of your frenzy in those situations. Right, so you try to play for your gun, right? The same goes for like attacking B. Like here, it's super easy. You just do fucking this, and now you have insane advantage. Like, there's depending of context, right? And how do you know how they play and so on? You have so much space, but always try to take advantage of the gun and the smoke that you have. Remember that you will be able to reuse the smoke, and you didn't, and you didn't spend any cash. Right? That's very important. Right now you didn't use a single smoke and it's minute into the it's minute into the round, you know? And now look, you're smoking the window, right? Even though the guy might be close. So you're not helping you're not helping yourself because the guy can stand anywhere, right? If you would have used that smoke to take the space in double doors, you would be able to take advantage of just stupid positioning and with that frenzy. Like, I'll be honest with you guys, I would actually love to play Omen because I think you can be very creative with, with the uh, smokes for yourself. But then, I don't want to play smokes, so, yeah. And you didn't buy Paranoia because you don't have enough cash. Oh, okay. Th this is a big problem, so... 100% if I would be you, I would sell my armor, go for small shields, buy paranoia. But I would also just have always cash here for the paranoia instead. You know? Like, your mistake is buying two uh, shrouded step and piss around. You just sacrificed 200 credits that you could have used for a paranoia this round. You know? Like, that's that's also something that I hate when, when, when I see Chambers and Brimstone just buying, like... Brimstone buying a steam beacon when he doesn't need to, or Chamber buying 8 bullets when he doesn't need to. It's putting cash into the bank that you cannot get out. People, people! Again, you didn't use a single smoke. You're the character that should be using a smoke at the beginning of the round, in my opinion. You know? Like, you, you need to use it. Look, you're useless. Right now, you're useless. You don't, you don't do anything for the entire round. You didn't use a single piece of utility. You didn't use a single smoke. Change your, change your mindset about playing Omen. Right? Change your mindset. Look, if I would be attacking right here with five players, I would do do shit. Like, I'm attacking a site with five players of mine, right? I have full fucking util because I didn't buy shorted steps on fucking pistol round. So I do this. I do one smoke here. We can take space short. Right? The smoke is on recharge. We're gonna attack. I can do this smoke here. 
Like I can paranoia right now. Like this. Check the corner here. Run up. Kill the guy here. Go into the smoke. Spam this corner. Get out. Limit angles. Or just get out here. Check this corner. Like you, there's so much stuff you can do. Right? Don't always do this smokes. Like this is not always needed. This is not always needed. Like this, this, this is not always something that you need to do. You need to be a little bit more creative with the omen. Oh, nice omen smoke. That's that's why I don't play omen. My opinion: this smoke to get out of short is useless. What do you mean is useless? Is I buys you so much space and buys. Look, what I do with this smoke here, if someone is going from long, right, and if I have the third smoke, depends on how fast the game is, right, because. I would like to use one smoke here, right? And then I would like to use one smoke on short. Like like this, right? To limit the angles. If I already have the other smoke, because it's 30, 30 seconds, I might actually have the, the... Till the moment that the players will get into A, long, I might have actually done another smoke. So then I will smoke heaven, right? For them to peek. But when they, when they go onto site, and there's this smoke here, it actually helps them, because they don't need to fucking care about the left side. So they can like use utility to clear backside, check the right, and they're already on site. There's also like four other fucking characters in the fucking game that maybe could do also something, you know? They will wait for you in the smoke. So you fuck them. That's it. Don't use that against eco. But against full buys, you're limiting angles. Like, I, I think people have a misconception that brimstone and astro smokes uh, uh, should be the same as omen. Oh, sorry, the other way around. Omen smokes should be the same as brimstone and, and, and astra. I feel like um, Omen is a person personification of uh, combat smokes. But then the left corner is hidden. But it's... Guys. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the left left corner is, is covered. Because you need to limit corners and you want to put pressure. When you're attacking C... When you're attacking C, I never see a fucking omen that if while attacking C long does a smoke like this. And that's one of the best smokes that you can fucking do. That's literally one of the best smokes that you can fucking do while attacking C site. And people be like instead, mm, I'm gonna smoke this and this and uh, this. Uh. And then be you're like, oh man, nothing changed. Like what the fuck man? Like, it's crazy. Like, if I would be attacking Seaside with Omen, I would do this. One here. One here. And then I go out. And this is, like, so much pressure for the defenders, it's, like, actually fucking unreal. The guy from Double Dose can help you. You have absolutely no clue, like, you, what's going on, because people will just run out with full util. You're gonna get paranoia. People will already be close. You're dead. You know? Masterclass on smokes that will get your whole team mad at you in solo queue. No one knows how to play along with the smokes. Yes, of course. But I want you to get better. I want you to understand the purpose of your character. Right? Like, you want to master a fucking omen? The smokes have to be different. But also, if I would be playing Brimstone, I would do the same smokes. Like, if I would be playing Brimstone, okay? I have three smokes. We do fast C execute. I'm doing this. Cover going out. Cover going out. Those are my smokes if I'm playing Brimstone. I just add this smoke on top of this one, right? A better, a better angle here because I'm stupid. But I'm always doing this. I'm always doing this. And if I have an additional smoke, I'm doing this. With Astra, I would have done the same smokes as well. And if your team has pop flashes, then this smoke is absolutely unreal to stop. But yeah, let's go back to the uh, to the vote. Like right now, you use the smoke and double doors that didn't give you anything. And by the way, when you uh, when you attack C, right? 
when you attack C, right now what you did, uh, what you did is no one goes for double doors, but you smoked window. Which doesn't really give you much, right? You also smoked CT. Like this. So when you smoke this, you go into the site and uh, literally nothing changed for you. What you need to do in situations like this, if you smoke... If you smoke the window because you really badly want it, right? Then the main point of your smokes should be the here. In the corridor. Right here. So your teammates have easier way of entering the site because this is a contact point. While this, this is not a contact point. This is a rotational point for the defenders. So you don't give a fuck about that. My teammate said they would go there and then just choose not to. That's why I smoked the window. Yeah, but still, again, it doesn't change anything, right? You can smoke the window... Right? But you still... Fuck me, epic pen. But you still should use the another smoke for um for double dose here. One should be going to garage right now. Like, smoking CT really, really doesn't affect the, the push. A little bit too deep, because it's leaking a little bit, but it's almost perfect. One of five, one of five. Ah, you're fighting for no reason, man. Oh god, dude. Oh god, you should never be point of contact. You wait for your teammates to have contact, then you swing. Here's one HP, bro. I need good KD. Yeah, you also build bad habits. Don't do this shit. Like in that situation, Chamber has first contact and then you swing because he's, you knows he's coming from CT. But if you swing first and your opponent uh, just kills you but with a lucky shot, then the Chamber is fucked. Because he's known. I thought for a second that you were exposed. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm really not a, f like, I'm really not a fan of those smokes. Sweet, don't think this is the wrong way, but... You say a lot of dumb shit. It seems like you're just echo chambering other shit that you hear. And I have no real opinion of your, for yourself. Shit, when I'm trying to learn? Yeah, but the way that you com try to communicate in chat indicates that you don't know that shit, but you want to convince other people that your shit is right. You know? Like, I'm just saying that this is... My feedback to you, how you be how you're gonna be perceived by other people in chat. You know? Hey, try to stick together so we don't give them any guns. Just keep going and see if we lose. Damn man, this quality is actually killing my eyes. Eh, it's, it's just photo review, it doesn't matter. The quality is it's, it's good enough for a photo review, that's what's important. Wait, what was the smoke? You didn't use a smoke, you're also not with the team. And you have an ultimate. So you didn't use a single smoke, your team is already like... Like, this smoke's... This smoke is fucked, right? It has a big gap. You see, like, you don't plan ahead. You also didn't communicate that the... Did you communicate that the smoke was bad? You need, always need to communicate. Smoke is bad, there's a gap in double doors. You always need to say that shit, right? I was distracted here by my dog barking. Oh, okay. Dog ate your homework. Okay. Like, if you play a character like Omen, I feel like you need to start run. I mean, that applies to every character, but specifically to Omen, you need to know what you're doing before the barrier drops. And so far, I didn't see this in your in your movement. It's like, you always start thinking when it's like, you're like, right now, what do I do? I go short, I guess. But you have no, you have no plan. Look, look. See? See this? This is this is very good. It seems like you're distracted. 
Why are you watching short right now? Look. Why are you watching short? Your jet already cleared this. Like, right here. This is already cleared. You're ineffective. And because of that, Chamber dies, right? <coughs> because you didn't have two players. You didn't use a single piece of utility. And you didn't help your teammates at all. Don't take this as an insult or anything. I'm trying to, like, make you aware of stuff that you're not doing. Nice shot. But still, you fucked over your entire team right now, this round. Smoke is bad. You need to communicate that. Wait, do we have your comms here or not? Oh, it didn't... They didn't record, right? Uh, okay, so we can't judge. We can't judge the comms. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait, but are you an Omen main? Or are you trying to learn Omen? Wait, we have two, two subs. Magic, thank you much for the Prime. Welcome to the family. If you could introduce yourself to us, that would be absolutely splendid. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. Wait, actually, first time. And we have also Working Class Man. Thank you much for the 11 months. Welcome back, Burski. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. We're almost a year, burp. I'm a jet chamber main. But do you want to learn playing Omen? Again, you have no plan for the round. Omen's lit. On top of B. And the second smoke does nothing, essentially, right? The first smoke helped. You didn't call, you didn't call the paranoia on... on uh, didn't call paranoia because you didn't... Like, the omen thing didn't go up, right? <gasps> you have this spike and you TP'd here! Oh my god, you almost in thing! I like the reaction, but you should TP long. I know it's like you, muscle memory, but holy fuck, you almost died there. Your reward reviews get uploaded to YouTube? Yes. But but there's one theme right now. You start the round and you don't have a plan. That's the main thing. Also, you had your ultimate for four rounds now. I know the omen ultimate is shit. But because it's shit, you should just use it for something, you know? Like you're planting as well. Like I think you planted twice while having the ultimate. So it's like, oh god. You know? Right now, you're not helping your team. Again, for, for 10 seconds right now, you didn't help your team at all, right? See, they're playing 4v5 right now. Because you didn't have a plan. And, and this paranoia is, like, way too late. Like, the paranoia should be used for the, for the teammates of yours to enter the site. Not to help them when they're already on site. How do I send a photo review and how much do I pay for you to look, take a look at it? Type an exclamation mark play stream and one half is $25. So what are you planning to do? You're practicing smokes. Okay, that's not an actual plan. It's just practicing smokes. Okay. Again, another round when you did... This is eight rounds into the game and this is the ninth round and we still didn't see a single ultimate. We didn't see a single initiation of a paranoia yet. Right? You never took space early. You never used your smoke, like, in the first second of the round to buy space, to make confusion. Like, think about Omen this way. Omen is one of the best characters to confuse your enemies. You can use the smoke to control a garden. you can confuse the C players with the smoke on, like, leaking onto side. You can TP from a garden to short or not while doing the, the, the sound, so people will be like, what the fuck? Right? 
right now i don't know what was happening did we like communicate here at all let me check we hear one no like no one used any comms right you also didn't use any comms like you in those situations like the reina is stupid but you have to assume that that's gonna be the case always you need to be the guy to speak up right you need to be the guy to speak up and say dude wait for me i'm smoking then we go together or i'm gonna paranoia or i'm, I'm gonna do whatever right you could have got paranoia the entire fucking double dose or something but she just went alone without any help and without any trade so he's pissed that he didn't get traded you're pissed that he died but it's both of your fault because reina didn't fucking communicate right and just went in but it's more your fault because you didn't communicate that you're not gonna be ready to trade because if i would be the reina i would be expecting you to be next to me right also by the way it's a lower buy from them you should never go into double doors anyway you want to avoid shotguns in here and look at this another player went into double doors and not a single thing was being done someone is flanking right now Chamber communicated, one CT, you have the plant, you know about the omen and... Long won't be long. <sighs> you know about the guy on long B, but I think that was the common, right? Nine rounds in, still didn't see a single ultimate, right? Wait, what? What was the call? No one took the spike. Do you guys want to fake A and go C? Oh, you guys have absolutely no plan. Again. You can peek it, whatever. Jet is like, whatever. She peeked. No trades ready as well, yeah, right? Yeah, because right. you're not efficient of, of pathing. You had no plan for the beginning of the round. You'd still... The plan was to go fake A, go C. It actually turned out to be fake C, go A. But, you know, it's solo queue. All right, we have round 10, your first ultimate. But you also didn't use anything before going here. And now this is the biggest mistake I think omens do. Okay? I think this is the biggest mistake that omens do. You use your ultimate before setting up the smokes. So now you're in no man's lad, no man's lad, and you have to sacrifice time to set up the smokes instead of trying to fight. You know? Look. See this shit? What? You should be powered right here when your teammates are fighting and the rotation is happening on CT. This is the moment when I would, when I would be using the paranoia for CT. Oh, shoot, I that. like, There's already one guy pe peeking from CT. See? And he killed the guy. No? No, he did not. Yeah. But, he, but he already peeked. This is a terrible smoke for right for this moment. Like, the, the, oh, yeah, 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 caramba. I don't know. Maybe you just misplayed or something by by being under pressure which is possible right but if you're in this situation this is actually a very good photo review because you do a lot of shit that can be corrected so you can learn a lot right if you did this remember how i spoke about how well how i would do the smokes while attacking that is literally a smoke that would be helping out the defenders for retake because they can isolate this angle and check it right then they can isolate short without it being exposed to um uh, to the guy standing here right so they can like boop, 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 take a little bit more space you know use utility maybe from this angle because they cannot be seen so if you already have sight like if you're attacking sight this smoke is fine all right if you're attacking sight this smoke is fine but if you already have control of the site then this smoke is way better because then they need to go out of this smoke right here into the fucking unknown like see this i need to peek and i'll be like totally exposed oh fuck where am i ah and i'm dead most likely because they're gonna be a crossfire right and if you want to play for if they have no pop flashes and you want to play crossfire from like 
here and here for contact. Then the best smoke uh, is going to be this. So those motherfuckers have also to go into a the unknown, straight up into the crossfire. See this shit? Fully exposed. If they have no power flashes. Oh, you saw him! Oh my god, I peed my pants! <laughs> Thank you, Phantom. So even though you're winning 7-3 and you have 9 frags and 3 devs, it is more because your teammates are actually entering without your help than you doing something in particular to help them. And again, you started the round without any 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 idea what to do. Look, four seconds in the round and you're like running around like a headless chicken. It's four v it's four v five at the beginning of every round because you just are busy with thinking about what to cook for dinner today. I got a chip on flank. Again, paranoia being used when we already have sight. Look at look at the position. See this shit? We already have this. Like the effective the effectiveness of your paranoia is this. This is how much of paranoia did you, you just use this round. I thought paranoia was infinite. Fuck me. Oh god. Thank god you sent this for vote review. This is a this is a great vote review, man. Okay, you said that you have a last round sent me in DMs because it cut, right? Wait, let me check. Uh, wait, you didn't send me anything. Can you send it in the chat right now or something? One second. Oh, you got it. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, last round. The amount of times that you went back for the spike in this game makes me mad. <laughs> it's like no one gives a fuck. <laughs> 100 on Reyna, no heal. If you attack the site like this, those smokes are, are way too late. Look at Reyna. Look, look where is she? So if you attack, um, if you attack on A, like this, 
here you're already too late but the, the first smoke always the first smoke goes smoke to heaven food. if you if you smoke there you smoke heaven first because heaven will have first contact and not the ct okay swap it the other way around on, Rena. No heal. think about it like what is more important in this moment and the smoke on heaven is way more important than the smoke on the city when I'm to the smoke oh jesus you paranoia the over sky oh god oh yeah, god no. oh god just plant bro just just plant ah. good plant though because it's for both long and short one either is coming short short i think there is I mean, okay, nice effort. Alright, dude, to sum it up, you're a very, very good example of why you shouldn't fill when you don't know how to play the character. You think you know how to play him, but you don't. And if you want to learn how to play Omen, this is a very good example of how to swap your mindset. You know? Like, this is actually a very good example of, I think, a very superficial reaction to this match would be yeah played well we got a lot of kills we won 9-3 i played omen and filled smoke so i feel good for myself but the reality is it was really bad like the smokes had like reverse order no plan at the beginning of the round i think like the most important for you dio is to realize that you need to think about how to play this round before the barrier drops. When the barrier drops, I want you to already have a plan of what to do and what do you do. Like Omen, in most of the rounds, Omen should be using a smoke instantly after the barrier drops. Just one, to create pressure, right? It's gonna go back in 30 fucking seconds. Like you're gonna have it really fast. Those 30 seconds go by very fast. In most, in most rounds, you are actually not doing anything for the first 30 seconds anyway, you know? But yeah, all right. That was actually a very good vote of you. Thank you for sending this. I think it was. Uh, I think a lot of people can learn from this, and I think you can learn a lot of shit from this. So this was actually very effective. Thank you so much, and I hope you Contract enjoyed completed. it.